three very common mistakes with the English word it from EspressoEnglish.net. The first one is forgetting to use it when the sentence needs a subject. For example, I just bought a new computer, was on sale. That's not correct. Every sentence in English needs a subject, so we need to say it was on sale. The word it functions as the subject referring to the new computer. We also use it as the subject with weather and time. Don't say, is raining. The correct sentence is, it's raining. Don't say, is cold today. The correct sentence is, it's cold today. And don't say, is five o'clock. The correct sentence is, it's five o'clock. These sentences need a subject, and we can use the subject it. The second mistake is forgetting to use it when the verb needs an object. Here are some examples. What did you do with the document? I sent to your secretary. That's not correct. It's missing the word it. Where's my jacket? I put in the closet. In these sentences, the main verbs sent and put need a direct object. The correct way to say it is, I sent it to your secretary, it meaning the document. I put it in the closet, it referring to the jacket. And the third common mistake is using it to repeat the subject that's already in the clause. For example, don't say, this food, it's not very good. Don't say, the best part about English class, it's that we play a lot of games. These sentences already have subjects. In the first sentence, the subject is this food. So then we just need to say the verb is. We don't need its. This food is not very good. In the second sentence, the subject is the best part about English class. That whole phrase is the subject. And we have the verb is. So again, we don't need the word it repeating the subject. Many students make this mistake when the subject is a long phrase, like in the second example, the best part about English class, rather than just one word. Now, we could use it if we added a second clause to the sentence. That means a second phrase containing a subject and verb. For example, this food is not very good, but at least it's cheap. Now we have two subjects and two verbs, one in each clause. If you really want to master the advanced details of the English language, my Advanced English Grammar course will help you. It includes personal feedback on your written English, so you can send me your writing and I'll correct your mistakes.